Hello, I'm Shirley Gant and I'm a consultant with Sims Independent Schools team. Did you know there are now new quick and easy reports for printing out student lists by class and by registration group? Let's take a look. The student lists are accessed from reports student lists. And as you can see, there are three different types. We're going to start with the general student list. By default, this provides us with a report showing full name, gender, date of birth, year group and reg group. Everybody in alphabetical order, on roll, whether that be current or guest pupils, each are included. Now I can make some amendments to the structure of the report by bringing in additional fields. On the right hand side you can see some basic detail information so if I want to bring in the age field I can click it now and drag it across to the report. In this drop down box here we can find other information from within the database. So if I choose family and home I can bring the contact information in for this report too by clicking and dragging. OK, so now we can see contact one and contact two for each of the students included. We have a little bit of extra functionality here. If I choose con contact two column and choose to nest it, that information will now be included within contact one. So if you prefer to see your contact details all in one field, that can be done. To remove that, I can right click and choose remove column nesting. OK, so now we have the whole school alphabetically with all this information and I could save that now as my contact detail information. So I can give it a new name, contact details and save it. And I can now bring this report up and then make any filtering for it that I need to do. So if I click on filter now, I can choose to filter by any of these items. I'm going to filter by years. We're going to choose year 12 and 13. An additional filter might be to choose a particular subject that they study. So if we wanted to see all our sixth formers who study French, we can choose to do that. And we now have a report showing years 12 and 13 with their contact details who study French. So if there was a French trip, that would be the perfect report. If you have a look at the bottom right hand corner, you will see that as we're building up the report and making changes to filtering and sorting, then that is showing in that corner there. If I click on sort now and choose to sort this by registration group, then that also adds into the bottom report definition. At the top here we have another button called settings and this allows us to set an effective date should we need to do so. If I right click on a student, let's choose Bradley Nielsen, then I can now identify and show his timetable details. And I can also show his class details. And from both of those screens we have the option to leap to the links on the right hand side which to which we can now find any other item of information about this particular student that is held on the database. So if I click on student details that will now take me through into his main student core database information. Okay. If I click on print now we can choose to preview that print and we can see how this is going to print out for us. OK, so those are the first type of reports, the general reports. Also, you'll remember that there are two other types of reports. Let's look at class list now. I'm going to look at classes of year seven. And I'm going to additionally look at classes of a subject. And we'll say classes of German. And we can OK that. 
And now we're seeing class at a time, that information. We have a next button here. If I click on next, I can now see the information for 7b, 7c, and so on. If I go back now and want to add in additional filtering, I can choose list and class list. And you will notice that it holds the information that we've already put in, into it, the filtering, the year seven and the German classes. If I want to remove that, I can click reset and start again. This time, let's have a look at classes of a room. So if I choose this, I can now choose a particular room that I want to see the classes from. I'm going to choose the gym and click OK. And I can now see all those generally PE classes that are being held in the gym. I click OK and choose to print and preview. That will show me all those classes and when they're happening. Finally, in this area, I'm going to choose to look at my classes. This is particularly helpful for teachers to be able to access lists for each of their classes uh, very quickly and easily. So now I'm going to reset and choose my classes and OK it. And this will now give me the ability to print out, I'm going to add a page break at the end of each list and preview, but I can now print out a list of all my classes in one go. That's terribly helpful for teachers to be able to have that option. Finally then, we'll have a quick look at registration reports. I'm going to use Year 12. And you'll notice that both Year 12 and 13 students are showing. This is because they are in vertically aligned registration groups. In other words, Years 12 and 13 are mixed together in their classes, so we see both of them here. All the data areas are available to us, should we want to do so, to use them. And I'm going to use one this time that we haven't used before, timetable. And I'm going to choose, um, let's say, Wednesday 1, and drag that onto the report. This is now going to give us the information of what each of these students is doing at period one on a Wednesday. Okay, so now we can see where each student is and equally how many of them have free or study periods at this period. So, the student list reports allow you to run lists by student, class, teacher, subject, room or indeed any combination of these with minimal fuss and effort. You can include extra information from the database, such as contact details, special needs information, exam numbers and so on, simply by clicking and dragging. I hope you found this month's Did You Know interesting. Be sure to take a look next month for the next in the series. If you need to know more, consider booking a training course. Details may be found on our website or contact us by phone using details as shown.